All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, the Elder Great Millstone, and Satish Brothers doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity. So, um, firstly, Yahweh is the Heavenly Father. Bahasham is in the name, Ba'en Hadha Sham name. Yahweh Shai is the only begotten Son, and Rakha Kodash means Holy Spirit. Literally translated Spirit Holy. Or high spirit called I show it. And um Man, you know, I, I found this, you know, uh humorous. This this uh image on the screen, panic pilot twenty three jumped to his death from cockpit window thirty five hundred feet after damaging his landing gear during a board landing, vomited and apologized to co pilot before leaving out for co pilot to land safely. Now, this video isn't a funny video, obviously. This guy is the equivalent to what you, you know when people fall out. This is what they are, man. A man that jumped ship too soon, lost patience, to fall to their fucking death. First off, to vomit and fall to his death, man. Because the Lord will take away that which they, they received, man. Take that spirit away. All right? Ain't no giving up, man. Safety is of the Lord. <laughs> this is um Hebrews 10. Get right to it. Um man. Uh 35. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence. Is this the one that says a fearful looking? Okay. Yeah. Cast not away, therefore, your therefore your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of the Most High, ye might receive the promise. For yet a little while, he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul have no pleasure in him. We are not of them who draw back into perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. So this is a, a, a thing of endurance. Ain't no quitting. To quit is to die. Point blank period. To quit is to die. Um, is that Luke? This is Luke 12. And 42. And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward? whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household to give them their portion of meat in due season. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Of a truth, I say unto you that he will make him ruler over all that he hath. Like we read, man. Having need of patience that after you've done the will of the, war, uh, the, will of the Lord, you, uh, we must wait for the reward. We're going to... Hey, simply doing what's required of us to fear the Lord and keep the commandments, all right? So teaching, you know, being separate from this world comes with the, the reward of rulership. To not continue when this thing is to die. It's, it's, we have every reason to continue, man. But, and if that servant say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming, but if you lose patience and shall begin to beat the men, servants, and maidens, and to eat and to and drink and to be drunken, the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him. And at an hour when he is not aware and will cut him in sunder and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. And this doesn't mean you literally, can't, obviously, this doesn't mean you can't eat or drink. All right. This is going into uh, uh, overindulging in the flesh. All right. To, to stop doing the work, to stop overseeing uh, uh, the flock. Hell, even a spew madness, because it says they're drunk with, with uh, uh, how's the word in Isaiah? Let me just get it real quick. Oh, yeah, Isaiah 29 and 9. Stay yourselves and wonder, cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. For the Lord hath poured upon, out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and has closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, the seers, 
have he covered. All right. So that being drunkenness no longer been the truth. Which makes you a, a, a one who sheds blood. Because to teach this truth is to show love to your brother. To do opposite of teaching this truth is manslaughter. You are one as a murderer, man. All right, you are as the evil one came because you know to do good and don't do it. That's you beating, beating the maid servants, man. That's one level of beating the maid servants. Then you got people that fall away, scoff, the brotherhood. People fall away, start teaching lies and doctrine to, to the nation, man. False doctrine to the nation. That's a price to pay for that, man. And some men just go back to the world and just live it up. <laughs> There's a price to pay for that, man. Verse 40, Luke 12, uh, 45. But if that servant say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming and shall begin to beat the men servants and maidens and to eat and drink and to be drunken, the Lord of that servant will come in the day when he looketh not for him and at an hour which he is not aware and will cut him in sunder and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself Neither did according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. So you're going to have a harsh, those who let go is going to get a harsher judgment than those who didn't ever even understand. All right. This is um Second Peter 2. And 20. For after they have escaped the pollutions of uh, yeah yeah for after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shemashiach, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. For if, for it had been better for them not to have known the way of of righteousness. That after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. Alright? So hey, to come into this thing and stop, you're worse off as than the man that never uh believed, the man that never got into it, and the man that never understood. All right, back in Luke 12. Let me finish this little section up. And um, 48, but he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed much, of him they will ask the more. All right, so we've been entrusted, uh, uh, we've been trusted with this word. It's our duty to... Teach this word, plain and simple. It's our duty to separate ourselves from this this world and be an example to the flock. All right, of holiness. And it's not much, you know. The Lord is not overbearing. What He requires of us is is a uh, very reasonable and simple things. The Lord ain't putting you in monk status. All right, none of that. It's very simple, man. Uh, 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 it's not grievous, as it says in 1 John 5. All right? Motherfuckers fall out because they care for the world, the world instead of the Lord, man. All right? But there's a price to pay for that. Anyway, this is um, Sirach. I just got a couple more, man. You know? Cause you know what? Because how I said it plainly, you know? This is Matthew 24. Hey. Um, 13. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. So to be saved, to escape these things, we must continue In his word, man, this is uh first Tim uh Colossians one and twenty one. 
Colossians 1 and 19. For it pleased the Father that in him shall all fullness dwell. You know, and you have a shot. You have a shot is going to inherit all things created. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things to himself, by him I say whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. Yahweh Shai is number one outside of Yahweh, okay? And you that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. If you continue in the faith grounded, if ye continue in the faith grounded and settled, being assured that this is the way. And be not moved away from the hope of the gospel. Continue to trust and have faith that Yahweh Shem will uh, uh, get us through safely. Like that man landed safely. He didn't lose pa patience. He didn't make haste. He continued the course and was safely landed. All right. If you continue in the faith grounded and settled and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which you have heard and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister. All right. So, hey, this is what we're looking forward to, Lord willing, man, to be counted as the holy, unblameable, unreprovable. And how to be counted as such? All right. To continue faithfully settled, grounded, rooted. Not shaking, not, not going after every wind of doctrine. All right? Not losing hope. No, we got to continue a hope for the, in this gospel. And Isaiah 61, starting the first verse, explains beautifully what the gospel is. Us getting delivered out of captivity, getting out of uh, uh, this damn prison, and our enemies getting judgment, which includes us ruling over our enemies, man. So we got every reason to endure. This is a uh, Sirach too. And I'm going to start at one and bounce through this chapter. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So we're going to go through trials. We're going to go through. Uh, ups and downs. Satan's going to try to pull us out. That's his job, you know, and it's our job to endure. Trust in Yahweh Basham Yahushai. All right? Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. And make not haste in time of trouble. Don't be quick to abort, man. That, that shit's not going to... It's not. It's no benefit in that. It's only death. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Like that man was saying at the end of all of that, and we're looking forward to be increased, man, to be saved. Whatsoever is brought upon thee to take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire and the subtle man in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. So we're going to go through things, man. All right. And the elect is going to endure those things because the spirit of the Lord is going to pull them through. So we got to go through it. We have to have our mindset a, a, a set to constantly endure. The elect is gonna go through these things. Real brief, if I wrap it up. Second edge is 13. And uh, 23. He that shall endure the peril in that time hath kept himself. They that be fallen into danger are such as have works and faith toward the Almighty. So we're going to go through, we, we, we're going through difficult times. That's what we must deal with. And all hell is going to break loose and the Lord is going to pull us through those dangers. You know, he's going to uh, uh, bless us to, to make it through those things. So when this famine out here, the Lord is going to feed us. You know, when it, when... It's death around every corner. The Lord is going to sustain us with life. All right. Uh, verse 11. Man, I'm, 
I'm going to keep going. Verse 7. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy, and go not aside, lest ye fall. Stay on this path. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. The Lord God is. He's going to pull us to those dangers. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see the ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded. Or did any abide in his fear to live, to stay in his fear and was forsaken? The Lord is not a man that he shall lie. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For Yahweh is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in time of affliction. And we are greatly afflicted. Woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands, and a sinner that goeth two ways. Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. Can't be weak, can't give up, can't jump ship. You will not be defended if you do that, man. Woe unto you that have lost patience, and what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? You know? This is a rock for, you know, I'm going to finish the chapter out. I might as well, right? They that fear the Lord would not disobey his word. And they that love him would keep his ways. Hold fast, hold them tight. Never let them go. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear the Lord, so the law ain't done away with. It can't save us because we can't keep it all the way, but we still are attentive to it. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight, saying, We will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. So ain't no jumping ship trying to take matters to our own hands, running to Esau, running back to the world, calling upon your mama. All right? We must continue and, and, and hope for mercy, you know, in Yahweh Bashami, Yahweh Shai. Hope means expect. We continue in these things, we can expect these things. The Lord is not a man, he shall lie. Sirach 4 and 28. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Ain't no quit, ain't no giving up. Call halalium, all praises to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, the bondage to the apostles, great millstone, and citation for us doing this thing in sincerity, in truth, and with charity. Shalom, wa ba ba ba.